Early access provided by EA Fire Monkeys. May differ from actual version. Hi guys, today we're going to be completing the discovery quest, A Bumpy Ride. This quest unlocks pregnancy in The Sims Replay. Yay! So I'm just going to click on this crib and show you the options now. So it now when you click on a crib to add a baby, it says the pregnancy event. Then you have pregnancy and you also have the add a baby option which is still available. The first two options are currently greyed out so we need to complete the a bumpy ride quest first. To start this quest we firstly need to build the maternity store. Oh it's so exciting! So we're gonna head to the town map and next to the real estate agency and near the mall you'll be able to find the maternity store. So we're gonna click on this and build it. This is a discovery quest so you cannot complete this at the same time as another discovery quest. So you won't be able to build the maternity store until you've completed another discovery quest first. And also, you will have needed to complete the two and a half sims quest first to unlock babies. This is the early access version, so I'm gonna speed this up with LP. There is no time limit for this quest, but you will start the pregnancy event during this quest, and the time limit for that is nine days. And once you click to finish building the maternity store, the A Bumpy Ride discovery quest will begin. The first goal is have a doctor explain pregnancies. So to do this, we need to go home and click on a phone and select the option call doctor. The doctor will then arrive at your Sims house. We can then click on them and select the option to explain pregnancy. Talk pregnancy with a sim. Click on another sim and select the option to talk about pregnancy. Purchase the maternity outfit. So we're gonna to head to the maternity store and you can see on the first tab on cargoes and t-shirts, you can see the black and gray outfit, which costs 500 maternity tokens. This is the one we want to buy. You earn maternity tokens by completing the pregnancy event, which I'll explain a little later in this video. And if you buy all of those items in that row, you unlock the prize at the end, which is the Tees prize pack. So you unlock some t-shirts. As well as maternity clothes, there is also a new nursery furniture now available. I absolutely love these items. They are so adorable. But we're just going to click to buy the black and grey outfit. So we're going to click on it and click on it again to buy it. So it says purchased items can be found in the paternity section of an adult female sims wardrobe. But you cannot put them on until they have a baby bump. Oh it's exciting! Place empty crib. So to do this you need to place a crib from your inventory or you need to buy one from buy mode. You can find these in the infant section. I'm just going to turn this small room here into a nursery. Start pregnancy event. So to start this we need to click on the empty crib using the female adult sim that we want to become pregnant. Oh, and just a note, they can be a single parent now, they don't have to be married. So Elizabeth is going to click on the crib and you can see the options we saw earlier. The pregnancy event is now available. So we're gonna click on this. This time it is free and it will take nine days to complete. So we're gonna click on this and it says select sim. So we're gonna select Elizabeth and then a pop-up appears saying pregnancy event, the journey begins, and that completes that task. Select a Sims icon. To do this, we need to open the pregnancy event tab, which you can find in the left hand corner of your screen. And then you need to click on the picture of your Sim. This will then take you to that Sim so you can easily find them to be able to complete this event. View pregnancy daily goals. 
So again, we're gonna go back to the pregnancy event tab and you can see all the daily goals there that need to be completed. You have to be able to complete all of the daily goals every day to unlock the baby bonus at the end of the event. You also earn maternity tokens when you complete your daily goals. Daily goals need to be completed by the sim who is pregnant. Only that sim can complete those. So we're going to click back now to complete this task. These goals really are just showing you how this event works. View pregnancy support tasks. So again, we're going to go back to the pregnancy event tab and then underneath the daily goals, you can see the support tasks. Support tasks can be completed by any sim. So my first one is sit on a couch and sew 12 clothes for Elizabeth's baby. So you could have 12 sims at one time doing this or you could have one sim completing it 12 times. I'll explain more about that in a bit when we start completing the event. View baby bonus. So this is what I was talking about a minute ago. If we complete all of the goals and all of the support tasks within the nine day time limit, the baby will receive bonuses. So we're gonna go back to the event tab and click on eye on the picture of the child and it says the sim with the baby bonus earns more xp completes actions faster not affected by low motives so they don't mope around when their needs are low and they have the bonuses for life but you only get these bonuses if you complete all the daily goals every day and all of the support tasks within the nine day time limit so we're going to click back again complete the pregnancy event so I'm going to speed through this pregnancy event with LP just to show you how it works and the sort of tasks that you're going to have to complete. So there are nine days of goals, which is a month a day. When the nine days are up, the baby will be born. So we're going to start on day one. I'm not going to talk through all of these goals as they are quite similar and I will be speeding through it. But I will talk you through day one so you get the gist of it. So our first goal is write letters announcing the pregnancy from a dining table. So Elizabeth needs to click on a chair at the dining table and select the option. The first support task is sit on a couch and sew 12 clothes for Elizabeth's baby. You can see on the support tasks, there's a bar at the bottom. The more support tasks you complete, the more maternity tokens you'll earn. These tokens can then be used to buy items from the maternity store. Check out my maternity store video for information on all of those items available. If you want to speed up goals in the pregnancy event, it will cost you social points. I'll be speeding all of these up as this is the early access version. So that is the first goal completed. The second one is talk to a sim to discuss home births. You don't have to complete these in order by the way, but I'm just going to do that for most of the days. Some of them I do mix up a bit, but it's just easier to talk through them in order right now. So to complete this, we need to select the option on another sim. Again, only Elizabeth can complete this. So Elizabeth has to be the one with the plumb bob above her head, and then she needs to click on the other sim to get this option. The next one is an appointment. These aren't going to be in the actual update as they have removed them to fine tune them a little bit, which I think is a good idea because they are quite expensive. I'll just show you with this one. So it says use a phone to call a doctor to your home to check on the baby's progress. So we're going to set the option call doctor on the phone and the doctor's going to arrive at the house. So we have three options here. We've got a cancel appointment. We've got a thorough checkup, which will cost us LP, but we will earn extra maternity tokens and also have a checkup, which will cost us simoleons, but we won't earn any extra maternity tokens. Again, this won't be in the actual version of the game, so you won't see this, but it will cost 76,000 simoleons to have a checkup. So I'm glad they've removed that. So the next daily goal is call some friends on a phone and share the pregnancy news. So select the option on a phone. Now we're going to grab some carrots from a fridge and eat them. And our final daily goal is call a sim on the phone and discuss ways to ease morning sickness. So select the option on the phone. As these are going to vary for you, if you don't know how to complete one of them, read the description again because most of them say how you need to complete them so call some friends on a phone grab some carrots from a fridge so most of them do say how you do it so while she's doing that i'm going to finish this support task using these two sims and now a pop-up has appeared that says goal set complete 
all the day's goals were complete and maternity tokens have been awarded. So now you can either wait till the next day to start the next set of goals or you can start them straight away by using LP. It will cost you quite a lot of LP. Mine is saying 78 LP to go on to the next day. Otherwise you'll have to wait for the hours it says. So it says unlocks in 23 hours, 54 minutes. But this will vary depending on how long it takes you to complete those daily goals. If you don't complete all the daily goals in a day, you cannot catch up the next day. It will go straight on to the next day and you will miss out on the baby bonus because you haven't completed them all. But it's still worth completing it because then you earn the maternity tokens. I can't see many of us actually being able to complete it in time because they are really long tasks and if you can't play all day then you're going to struggle unless you have loads of social points to be able to speed it up. So I'm just completing this first support task still and now they've completed it so we can go back and see what the next one is. And it is generate nursery ideas. So click on a dining room chair and select the option. And I'm going to use LP to be able to start day two. So the tasks we have today are call a sim on the phone and brainstorm baby names, chill out on a couch and bond with the baby, research pregnancy supplements on a computer, another appointment, throw up in a toilet, which is lovely. So I'm just going to speed through these ones today as I don't think you need me to talk about all of them. If you do get stuck on any of these tasks, you can always comment on my blog, thegirlgames.blog, on the A Bumpy Ride quest post the link for that is in the description of this video or you can tweet me at the girl who games and i'll try to help you work out which item you need to use Get creative on a computer and assign simvitations to the baby shower. Oh, I love that, simvitations. Ninety-four thousand simoleons for a yoga session. Remember, the appointments have been removed from this update, so you won't see this. So we're going to start on day three.
Oh, she's showing her ultrasound scan. Oh, cute. I love the interactions in this update. So we've completed day three's goals, we're going to go on to day four now, which means we've entered the second trimester. And a pop-up has appeared and it says Elizabeth is about to go for a big change. Better see what's going on. So when we go to Elizabeth, there should be an exclamation mark above her head. And when you click on it, she should then have a baby bump. This didn't work for me when I had the exclamation mark above her head, I clicked on it, it didn't do anything. But I closed the game and opened it again and the bump magically appeared. Oh, look how happy she is. And they get changed into the maternity outfit that you bought previously in this quest. So when you buy other maternity clothes, they can change into them when they reach the second trimester. So we're going to complete day four's tasks now. Now day four is complete, we're going to start on day five.
Now on to day six. I love the way they walk that when they're pregnant. This update is so detailed, it's really well made. I think it's something they've been working on for a while. Definitely looks like it. This update should make a lot of people very happy. Every single thing you see the Sims Free Play team post, there's always someone who comments on it saying, pregnancy, pregnancy. For the task that says set up a nightlight in the nursery, you need to buy a nightlight from the infant section of the home store. This will cost you 2 LP. Let's complete another support task. So we've got plan a girl's night in. So you need to select the option on the phone for this. Again, if you're not sure, above where it says plan a girl's night in, it does say have 10 sims help plan a girl's night in via phone. So check that out if you're not sure what you need to use. So we now have completed 76% of the support tasks and we're going to start on day 7, which you may have guessed is the third trimester. So a pop-up has appeared that says Elizabeth is about to go through an even bigger change. Better see what's going on. So again, an exclamation mark is above her head. When we click on this, the baby bump gets bigger. Well, that aerobic session was quick, it's only 30 seconds.
So now we're on day eight. Let's have a look at some of the tasks we have to complete today. Sit on a couch and consider decoration for the baby shower. Relax on a couch and consider baby names. Bake a baby shower cake in an oven. There's an appointment on there, but we don't need to worry about that. Ask another sim to photograph Belly and talk to another sim to help choose baby shower decorations. Oh, how cute is that? Now we're on the final day, day nine. So send five sims to your house. There's another appointment. Show off the baby bump to another sim. Dance with one of the guests at the baby shower. Hug one of the guests at the baby shower. But as I was saying before, you won't get all of these goals. They will be different for you. Oh, that dancing one is great. I love that. And that was the final task. It says all goal sets are complete. The final goal set is complete and maternity tokens have been awarded. So when we head back to the pregnancy event, we can see that we still have some support tasks that we need to complete. So we need to do those first before we can unlock the baby bonus. So my sims are gonna sew some more clothes. These tasks seem to be quite repetitive, so you may get them more than once. They are quite long though, again, same with the daily goals. I'm not sure anyone's gonna manage to be able to complete all of these. So 97% complete, it says practice preparing baby formula. So we need to do this 13 times. And I think this is the last support task. So I'm just gonna do this one now. And yeah, that's all the support tasks complete. And that means we've completed the quest. So a pop-up has appeared that says, congratulations, your sim now knows everything the pregnancy event has to offer. Pregnancy has been unlocked on cribs. Pregnancy is a special mode that allows your sims to receive and grow a baby bump over six days. However, your sim does not have goals or tasks during the pregnancy. So I think I'm going to be using that one a lot more than the event one, but you won't be able to complete tasks and earn maternity tokens if you just select the pregnancy option. So another pop-up has appeared that says, Journey's End, Baby Bonus. Congratulations, new baby sim you are about to introduce to Simtown has earned the baby bonus, which will make them more productive throughout their long and illustrious life, which is great. We can now click go to cot. The icon above the cot is flashing. We need to click on it with Elizabeth. We can't click on it with another sim. So make sure the plum bob is above Elizabeth's head. 
and then she can click on the crib and select the option have baby. She will then go into labour, a very quick labour. And then 12 seconds later, we will head into create a sim to customise the baby. And when you finish customising, click on the green tick in the corner of the screen to add them to the game. Elizabeth will then go back to wearing her normal clothes and the baby bump will disappear and she's got a beautiful little baby. So again to summarise, when we click on a crib, you've got the pregnancy event which takes 9 days and it costs 2 LP according to this. This allows you to earn maternity tokens by completing daily goals and sport tasks. You also have the pregnancy option which is just pregnancy. They grow a baby bump. This will take 6 days and cost 5 LP but you won't complete any goals or tasks to earn maternity tokens. And the third option is the add a baby option. So it takes one day for the baby to arrive but there is no baby bump. This is the option that has been available forever in the Sims Free Play. So once you complete this quest, any of your female adult sims can grow a baby bump. If you're still unsure about how pregnancy works, then check out my guide to pregnancy in the Sims Free Play video. If you found this video helpful, please like it and please subscribe to my channel. I post loads of Sims Free Play videos and I also have a blog, thegirlgames.blog. There you can find all my quest posts and loads of other helpful tips and tricks about the Sims Free Play. Thanks for watching. Bye.